Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? It's back again, Mr. Warmack. You know who it is. It's out of focus programming, so let's rock and roll. Today, I'm going to ask some of you, some of you victims. 2015, what are you going to do? Use the same old shtick? Now, I want to know something. It's 2015. It's a new year. People crying about being victims. People are crying about how they're getting taken advantage of. But let's ask, let's ask, let's flip this question. What are you doing to come out of victim, victimhood? What are you doing to be quit being a victim? What are you coming, what are you doing to help your people coming out of victimization? The answer, you guys are doing nothing. You guys, I mean, crying, but, I mean, is crying really going to solve the problem of victimization? No. It's going to be another year of you crying and whining and not doing anything. And let's face it, you're an American, and I'm tired of, like, people crying about, well, we've been brought to this land. You've been here long enough. You can save money. We can go back to Africa. Nothing's stopping you. No, I'm not, Lord knows I'm not stopping you. No way this country stopped me from going back to Africa. Gotten in all these countries. I've said this before in many videos. They were offering you guys land, and all of a sudden you guys, well, they never asked me, they never asked me. You, you can still go over there. But you want to know what? You don't really want to leave. You know what the deal is over there. As much as you hate America, you hate your motherland as well. You hate people who look like they're from your motherland as well. Because all this victimization, and you make videos after videos after videos, whining on Facebook, whining on Twitter, whining here, whining. What are you doing? That's the question people should be asking you. What are you doing besides playing a victim? You want a free meal? If that's all it is, let people know. Do you want a dollar or two? Let people know. But just walking around crying while you're a victim, and then when you look at these people, they're not doing anything to help their situation. They got excuses. And, and if you know, I tell you people, and I tell you good folks who watch my videos, eight out of ten times, the only victimization is because of the people who cry like this, it's something they have in their background, something they've done to put themselves in that situation. But by and large, it's 2015. Don't you think crying and blaming everybody is like done with? While, while everybody is moving up and moving on, you're still crying about you're being a victim. You're still crying about victimization. But there are folks who are taking the charge and doing stuff about being a victim and being a uh, in victimization. And they're helping people. And you're just still crying about it. But you want recognized for this? You want to work with people because of this? If I see somebody who cries too much about it, I'm not working with them. If I see somebody who says one thing and does another thing, I'm not going to work with them. I don't care what color you are. And just the fact that we're black don't mean, don't mean nothing. Because there are snakes that are black. <laughs> there are snakes that are white. Snakes that are yellow. There are snakes that are brown. A snake is a snake. It has no color. And I'm going to tell you something that I was taught at a young age. Just because you look like me and have a smile doesn't mean you're going to treat me no better than I treat myself. All you victims out there, here's what you do. You write a long list of your, of your complaints. And then you make a video. You make a video about it. Put my name. I don't give a shit. Put my name on there. And then make another video of what you're doing to address those complaints, because people, because some, some, I've been watching a lot of these YouTube videos by a lot of these whiners, and a lot of you guys and gals have had the same complaints since YouTube first started. So what does that tell me about you? You're not motivated to help yourself. So if you're not motivated to help yourself, I'm not going to help you. Because why should I be the battery in your back when you're getting beat down to the point you're crying about it? But then, then, then they say, well, why don't you do something? 
No, because I, I just like crying about it. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be idiotic of me to help you. Nobody's a victim unless they're a willing victim. And like I said, it, everybody cries about America, but at the same time, there's flights to Joe Berg, there's flights to Lagos, there's flights to Nairobi, flights to Cairo. And I'm not impressed with you, I'm not impressed with some of you wackos who went over to visit there. Because you went to visit, you know what I'm talking about, you saw what you saw, I know what you saw. You went over there, well hell, fuck that, I just do business with these people. And you came back over here, where you're the sheikis, you wear your kufis. You know, you, you, you play the role, but you play the role on unassuming Negroes that are on Facebook. Well, all they care about is a, a, a naked woman twerking and guys thirsting for women. You play upon that, but yet you want to play you're a victim. And then let me tell you this: if any, if, if you're a victim, like I said, if you're a victim, show me the things you're doing to help other people besides a video. Because as much as you run people's name through the mud, you would think that you're out in the community and you're definitely not out in the community. You just make the videos and, you know, there's people that just make videos. That's all they do. You know, I can prove things that I do. I can prove that I've donated money to charities. I can prove that I gave coats and turkeys away. I can prove all this, but you see, I don't do it because I'd be boastful. Because this one, this one wacko said, well, what do you do, this and that? I, I got a track record of doing this. How do you think I acquired all this information to give to you folks? I've done it myself. Before I came from, before I came to the video, I was down at the shelter helping people out. Before I did this video, before I done the YouTube videos, I was helping guys come out of the joint who had bodies. I mean, I'm not talking about somebody who was drunk and hit somebody. I mean, somebody who killed somebody who got out of the joint after 15, 10 years, whatever, and I helped them get jobs. I didn't have to do it, but I just, I'm trying to help, I just help people out, that was just my nature. I'm not stupid to the fact to help everybody, I know everybody can't be helped, but like I have, a, I, we have a saying, if you want help, we can help you. But if you just want to cry about it, that's all you're going to do is cry about it, and like, all day I'll laugh at you. Like, all day I will laugh at you. Because you really don't want help. You don't want help, you know what you want? You want to be heard. You want to be hugged. You want to be told that you are somebody. Well, I don't got time for that. I got kids. I got a life to lead. And if you look at this picture right here, we rang in a new year. I rang in a new year like that. Well, you rang in a new year depressed, crying about something you've been crying about for the last 20 years. Ask you if you want help. No, I don't want help. I just want to blame somebody. Well, don't blame me. You don't want it. You have to want it. If you don't want it, keep doing what you're doing. This is what they call a facade. So keep up the facade. Peace.